Hello, I'm Jason Saeed, and today I want to focus on the world's number one brand selling lever puller, Harrington Hoist LB. We are the number one in the world, and with that comes a lot of copycats. So today I want to focus on our unit and what makes us the best unit available in the market today. What gives you the biggest return on investment, and what is the most reliable lever puller in the world. So the Harrington LB, or lever block, lineup starts from three quarter ton all the way to nine ton. And in that lineup is a dedicated single line body all the way to three ton. That would be a single line of chain. Within that lineup is also a capacity which is unique to Harrington and that is a two and three quarter ton lever puller. Now let's focus on features and benefits. If you just look from the outside, you'll start to see the fit and the finish and the quality that comes with a Harrington product. Always trying to keep the end user in mind. When we upgraded from our L4 series to our L5 series lever puller, we changed a couple things. The first thing we did was we made it much shorter, compact, and lighter weight. We actually were able to do that by changing some of the ways we manufacture the internal components. I'll go through those as well here shortly. But again, on the outside you'll see compact, lightweight, and robust construction, all steel. Little things you'll notice, like acorn nuts to hold the side bodies together so that these threads don't get damaged and you continue to be able to repair your product. The second thing you'll notice is standard nickel plated load chain. Now this is a cold dip nickel plated application, far superior to any zinc plated that is out in the industry today. The third thing you'll notice is our articulating 360 degree both top and bottom hooks, riveted for strong construction. Also with a split pin for easy access if you do need to do maintenance on your hooks. Now that's the external focus. Now I really want to focus on the internal parts. Now there's a lot of copycats out there painted a lot of different colors. And it may look somewhat like the same book on the outside, but once you get on the inside, you really start to see what separates the Harrington product from all those other fast followers in the industry. The first thing I want to focus on is the heart of your hoist, and that's your pinion shaft. Okay, when Harrington went from L4 to L5, I said earlier we were able to make the hoist more compact and lightweight and smaller. The way we started with that was this right here, the pinion. The L5 Harrington pinion is far more robust than any other pinion that's on the market today. You can see that in material thickness ranging from the gear side all the way through the pocket wheel to the brake side of the pinion. This is truly the heart of your hoist all the stresses from each lift run straight through this pinion. So if you can have a shorter, compact, more robust pinion, the rest of the hoist follows. The second thing we did was with our pocket wheel itself. Again, in our old L4 version, these were two separate parts. And if you look at some of the new imports coming in, these are still two different parts, both your drive gear and your load sheave. Again, with your pinion coming through, this is really what creates the torque in your hoist. So if I can take what was previously two parts, manufacture it into monoblock casting to make it one part, I'm taking wear part out of the hoist. Again, return on investment, being able to repair and maintain your fleet. Next, all of our internal parts are held together by our side plates. It is a dual pawl design for safety. But the other thing you'll notice is that Harrington doesn't use a bushing or a bearing on our side plates where it meets up with the pocket wheel. If you look at some of our competitors, you see that they will. And they may even think that this is a better design, but it's not. By taking away a wear part in a bushing or a bearing and hardening my side plates, also manufacturing to these tolerances, there is no need for us to have bushings or bearings on the internal parts of our LB lever puller. Lastly is our brake design. Now Harrington embodies a four surface Weston style load brake, different than our competitors. When I say four surface, I mean we have two brake pads and a ratchet disc, which mate together to form a four surface braking system. If you are to look at some of our competitors' designs, they actually coat the outside of the ratchet disc with braking material really only giving you a two surface brake. 
Now that we've gone through the inside and internals of your Harrington LB lever block, I'm sure you will realize what the difference is between Harrington and the wannabes. Again, Harrington built better and backed better.